we're asked to simplify log base 2 of 16 over x. And like the last video, this is actually looks pretty simple already. But I'm assuming they want us to use some logarithm properties to maybe write this in a different way, or actually maybe expand this out a little bit. So maybe we should put the simplify in quotes. Maybe they really want to write this in a different way. And the logarithm property that jumps out for me that we might want to use is the idea that log base b of, let me call it a over c, is equal to log base b of a minus log base b of c. And I'll apply it right here. And then if I have a little extra time in this video, I'll actually reprove this, why this actually makes a lot of sense and why it comes straight from our understanding of exponent properties. So if we just straight apply this, b in this case is 2, a in this case is 16, and c in this case is, is x. So you get log base 2 of 16 divided by x is equal to log base 2 of 16 minus log base 2 of x. And this is asking, this is the exponent that I have to raise 2 to to get to 16. Well, what would I have to raise 2 to to get to 16? Well, 2 to the fourth power is equal to 16. So this first part evaluates to 4. If I raise 2 to the fourth power, I get 16. So this is another way of writing the number 4. You can think of it that way. And then this is minus log base 2 of x. And we're done. Log base 2 of 16 over x is equal to 4 minus log base 2 of x. So once again, I don't know if this is simpler than this right over here, but it definitely is another way of writing it. Now with that out of the way, I think it's fun to maybe try to prove this to ourselves, that this generalized property is indeed the case. So let's just assume. Let's just assume that log base b of a over c, let's just assume that that is equal to x. So another way of writing this is that b to the x power is equal to a over c. Now let's make a couple of other assumptions. Let's assume that log base b of a is equal to y. Then another way of writing this would be b to the yth power is equal to a. Well, we have a in this expression right over here, so we could rewrite it as b to the yth power. b to the yth power. b to the yth power is equal to a. We're, we're just assuming that if we raise b to the yth power, we get a. Or the expo the power that I have to raise b to to get a is y. Now let's do the same thing with c. Let's say that log base b of c is equal to z. Another way of writing this in, as an exponential equation is that b to the zth power is equal to c. Well, if c is equal to the b to the zth power, I can rewrite this c as b to the zth power. So given these assumptions that x is log base b of a over c, y is this, z is this, we can write this expression. We can rewrite this expression as b to the x power is equal to is equal to b to the y, b to the y over b to the z over b to the z. And we know from our exponent properties that this thing right over here is the same thing as b to the y minus z power. Now this is interesting. We, we've just written that b to the x power using exponent properties is the same thing as b to the y minus z. So that tells us that x must be equal to y minus z, y minus z. Or another way of thinking about it, this is x. This is x. This is, let me do that same color. This is x log base b of a over c. This is x right over here. Actually, I want to do it in that pinkish color. This right over here, by definition, was x. This over here, by definition, we did it right over here, is y. Let me do that same green. This over here, we defined as y. And this over here, we defined as z. We defined as, we defined as z. And we just established that x is equal to y minus z. x is equal to y minus z. So the property comes straight out of exponent properties.